Welcome to the Art Lady channel. This is a video demonstration on how to do a few simple techniques with clay. And these are um, what are necessary in order to make a lot of my clay projects. Uh, the first thing I wanna teach you is how to roll a clay ball. And I'm going to go quickly. Um, that way, if you already know something, uh, you're not just wasting your time, but if you need to review it, you can go back over it and watch it again and again as needed. Uh, basically, we're gonna pinch off a piece of clay and you just take your fingers, hold it together and give it a pull or a twist. Depending on the size that you need, uh, some instructions say a ball or a pea or a strawberry, uh, I press in the edges Okay, so that I don't have any big, for example, I'll show you, big blobs sticking out because that's a little bit harder to roll into a ball. So I press them in and then what I do is I put it in the palm of my hand in this concave area that dips in and then I put my other hand on top and I'm going to draw in a circle clockwise round and round and round pressing lightly and I'm going to do this very quickly so this goes on top and you want to roll yours quickly as well because it dries out the clay and I'm going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten good and I have pretty much a perfect ball now sometimes you only have to roll it five seconds you only roll as long as what is necessary once you get your perfect ball, stop rolling because it's continually drying out the clay. The wet from the clay is right on your hand now. It's pulling the moisture from it and that's not a good thing when you're actually working with clay. So the thing to remember when you're working with clay is try not to touch it too much, only what is necessary. You don't want to spend a minute or two rolling a perfect ball that you're going to squish anyways. Okay. So that's a, 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 a ball. And this would become now, it is not a flat shape. This is three dimensional. So the ball in geometric terms would be a sphere. So we've just rolled a sphere. It is a three dimensional shape. It is now a form. If we were to make a flat patty, which a lot of times we have to make a flat thing. We roll it into a quick ball, one, two, three, four, five, and then we press it flat. And to press things flat, use the palm of your hand, or sometimes I like using this area, the thick part of my thumb, and I press this flat. And when you press, you wanna flip over, press again. Most of the things we don't, do not want to press very thin. Usually I measure with my pinky finger. The thickness of your pinky finger is basically what you need. Or the thickness of a real cookie. Or a lot of times with a ruler, it's about a quarter inch or a little bit more than a quarter inch. But basically nothing thinner than a quarter inch because then it becomes too thin and floppy. But each, uh, like I said, that each direction has their own specifics. But this is how you would make a flat, it could be called a patty, like a hamburger patty you could call it. You could call it a cookie, or in ceramic terms, a flat piece of clay that has been either rolled out or pushed out or rolled in a machine is called a slab. So this is the slab, and this is the flat shape. This is the sphere. This is the rounded shape. You could call it a ball or a sphere. The next we're gonna do is a cone. I pinch off the desired shape. It depends on the size. Sometimes we have big cones, etc. Pinch off, roll it into a two second ball, one, two, just like the way I showed you. Then you roll it into a barrel shape, I call it. I press my finger down and I'm letting the clay roll up my finger and back and I'm pressing with equal thickness so that it is, it is flat up and back. This can be a barrel like this. I call it a barrel shape because it's short and fat or if you continue with the barrel shape. See it's not a round ball. 
it can become what is called a coil in clay. So you continue going up on the mat, back down on the mat. And when your coil gets longer, look how long that is, you can use both hands then, oops, or all your hands. And then I bring my hand from one side to the other to roll the coil. And it continues to get thinner and thinner. The more you roll, the drier this becomes, so be very careful. If you need a really long, really skinny thing, coil, you continue rolling both hands. I start in the center and I move out, so it's equal thickness. Start in the center, pull my hands out. And by pulling my hands out and rolling at the same time, you can see it is stretching the clay. Clay is so amazing. And then if you roll it quickly, you're able to twirl it, twist it, create whatever you want with it. But remember, the thinner the clay is, the faster you need to work with it because it does start to dry out. And there's only a limit to this of what it can do. And pieces like this, that if, if they stick out off of your clay, these can become delicate if they're very thin. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to attach things um, after. The next one is a cube I'm gonna show you. You take your clay, if you have any odd shapes, push those in because we're going to start rolling in a quick ball. One, two, just to get the edges a little uh, smooth. Then I pr put it down on the table, press, then I'm turning it to the side, press, turning it to another side I have not pressed, and I'm basically tapping the edges until I form a cube. And a cube is a three-dimensional square. It is a three-dimensional square that has formed now what's called a form. It is three-dimensional. You have many sides to it. One, two, three, one on the back, and two on the top. So that makes six sides for this square. So I could, I could put a design on every side. It is not like a blob. You can't identify which area is which on this. Very different. So this is another geometric form here. A cube, you could call it. And sometimes it's rectangular, depending on whatever we need to make. And keep on, if you even want to tap it, by taking the clay and poking it down, this gives it a very flat surface. The last thing you want to do, you can, is tap. And this will give nice, nice, even edges to it. And there is some of our basic shapes. Let me get that cone back again. Oh, I don't know if I did a cone. No, I did not. Um, the next one is a cone. Sorry about that. You roll a ball very quickly. And then you roll a barrel shape back and forth and I'm slowly letting it slide up my hand. Let it rat rock. If it starts flattening out, then just press. Okay, there is a barrel shape, I call it, because it is a short, fat coil. Looks like a barrel, or like a root beer candy. For the cone, then you just wanna roll one end. One end, back and forth, kinda wanting to go in a circle one end back and forth and depending on the cone and a cone is like a three-dimensional triangle there we go and it depends on how long you want your cone oh i also tap it tap the bottom just like we did with the square and this forms a perfect cone now looks just like a Hershey Kiss. You wanna make it a Hershey Kiss, just give it a little twist, and there you go, you can trick everybody. And there are some of the basic forms that we need to roll and make in my videos.